diastasis recti versus a hernia, especially an umbilical hernia or a ventral hernia. What is the difference? There's a lot of um, confusion and misunderstanding about the difference between these two diagnoses. First off, a diastasis is a stretching of the connective tissue. The connective tissue stretches and sometimes can stretch pretty severely so that organs aren't supported and they bulge, bulge out or herniate where they push out, but there's not a tear. A hernia is when there's a tear in that connective tissue and parts of your organs or inter internal intestinal tract bulge out through the hole and can become strangulated. So with a diastasis, core rehabilitation can repair even very severe. We've, we've helped people with 12 finger separations of their abdominal wall heal that diastasis. Now, a connective tissue that has been torn will benefit what, from what we call core preparations, which is rebuilding the muscle, strengthening the muscle, preparing the muscle, but most often needs some form of surgery to actually close that hole. Now, how do you know if you have a diastasis or if you have a hernia? It is often can be very difficult to tell the difference. A lot of times, doctors will call a diastasis a hernia, mostly because they have more of a traditional treatment for hernias. There's not as much, um, re there's more recent knowledge about how to treat a diastasis, but historically it hasn't been treated well, and a lot of times a doctor wants to give you a treatment plan with your diagnosis, and a diastasis historically hasn't had a great treatment plan. That's all different now. We actually know how to heal diastasis very effectively and we're working hard to get that information to physicians and medical professionals everywhere. But if the connective tissue is really weak and you can press in pretty far or there's parts of your organs that are pushing out, sometimes it will take a CT scan or an MRI to see if there's a hole. The reality is you're going to treat the muscles the same way with core rehabilitation. If you can, if you're not having severe pain or the doctor does not feel like a surgery is an emergency procedure, then I would recommend rebuilding these muscles, closing up that gap as much as you possibly can, and then seeing what kind of surgery needs are necessary. A lot of times, a hernia is a severe case of a diastasis. The stretching has occurred and occurred, and now it's so thin that it has turned into a hernia. Now, there's also times where people get very confused about an umbilical hernia. So an umbilical hernia is sometimes just the belly button pokes out. Now, sometimes there's a tear in the connective tissue where organs are coming out and there is a surgical need. But more often than not, what happens is your um, umbilicus, your belly button, when you were born, your belly button was tied off and it retracted, the umbilicus retracted into your body and created some scar tissue to the connective tissue. If that connective tissue has stretched with a diastasis or consistent forward forceful pressure out, such as with pregnancy, and now your belly button has gone from an innie to an outie, sometimes all that means is that the connective tissue or the scar tissue that, that pulled your belly button in severed in that stretching and now pops out. That's not necessarily a tear that needs to be surgically repaired. It is sometimes cosmetically unpleasant to have an outie belly button, but it's not necessarily the need for surgery. Sometimes the surgery can be very minor and more cosmetic to just pull your belly button back in once you've healed your core and closed the diastasis with core rehab. But it's important to understand that the word hernia means poking out. So it's a general term that can apply to an umbilical hernia. The, the umbilicus is herniating but it does not always mean that you need to have surgery. It's important for you to talk at length with your doctor about exactly what's going on with your connective tissue and the diastasis or hernia to see if surgery is necessary. Most of the time, surgery can be pretty um, invasive and can cause um, repetitive need for surgery if the body hasn't been retrained to use the muscles properly to avoid what caused the diastasis and the hernia in the first place. So we always recommend doing some kind of 
pre-rehab, which is our core preparations work before a surgery, and definitely core foundations after a surgery to heal those muscles. A lot of times people can avoid surgery altogether because what they've thought was a hernia was actually a diastasis and the stretching can be reversed. The tearing has to be repaired. Hopefully that helps clarify the difference between diastasis and hernia and gives you some hope to know that surgery is not always the only thing you need to do if you have something going on with your tummy. All right. Hopefully you can get more information on our website, thetummyteam.com. We would love to help you.